Hey guys, so we are in the midst of Hurricane Dorian. Say hi. And the power went out. The power went out. So when I went to bed, you know, there was kind of, because you guys know I'm in Charleston, South, South the, Carolina. The light went blinking off in the air. Right, and that's what woke him up at four. Um, but you guys know I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, so they were basically saying evacuate if you live, like, basically near the beaches. We don't. So we're like 20, 30 minutes away. Um, so we decided to stay. Well, then I wake up and the lights just go off. And Steve's like, oh, yeah, they said it was going to, they upgraded it to a category three. The level of panic. Why is that in, that's just what they upgraded it to. Right. The level the of panic. So and, can I get this out? Or you're going to take fall, over. In the tree, bunch of down. Yeah, we got down to. In the tree, mama, mama. In the tree branches fell. Some tree branches did fall, yes. So we're here now. It's hot, and I'm not trying to complain. I'm just trying to <laughs> set the mood for you guys. It's hot. It's dark. Um, I'm hungry. I'm nine months pregnant, and um, yeah. And this is where we are. We just went grocery shopping yesterday because we're so confident. We were so confident because this is our fifth. Um, this is our fifth yeah, hurricane it. season here in South oh, Carolina, so we felt like veterans, like, oh, nothing's going to happen. We can just stay home and eat and be merry. Mm -mm, we lost power, so, yeah, that's all that food in the trash. Uh, so we got we want sandwiches and cereal on deck all day. <laughs> um, I'm looking out the window. It's just some down trees. Like, It's not terrible, but the hardest part, of course, is the power, um, which I'm not going to complain too much about. Um, and then the, the twins, you know. This is great, I guess, material because for some reason, when I say the power's out, it's not all the way registering. So they're going around and checking all the light switches. And um, Lyle thought that he had come up on something because the remote control was still lighting up. So he's like, well, what does this mean? And um, yeah, no, we still don't have power. So here we are. We will check back in. Um, the other, so we got three kids up. And, and then my two are sleeping. Won't work. Oh, his Roblox is down, so something's got to be done immediately. Something's got to be done. All right, we'll talk to y'all. So we're about to get some homeschool done. This book is cracking me up. I hope you can see it the right way. I need a new butt, so I figure we'll do that. And I'm gonna eat some cereal. And yeah, Mr. Will. It's a little bit past 1 30 i'm laying in bed i just had to i had to lay down man it's again not complaining just saying i'm hot <laughs> i'm so hot um and it doesn't help you know y'all know how it is my ladies that's been pregnant you know how it is we we be extra hot so yeah so steve just it's so funny look listen the chinese restaurant nearby is open so steve's about to brave the elements and go get it and i know that sounds absolutely ridiculous but we have no power most of our food needs to be cooked in some way shape or form and it's really just rain and winds um and i'm going to check the how fast the winds are coming because i guess the little policy here is that if the winds are under 39 miles per hour is when they can start to repair um, the, like the electric, the first responders, the electric company, all of that can start working on restoring power. So prayers to those men and women, but let's go y'all, let's go. Um, the kids, they've been running around being crazy as usual. I just had to tap out. Like I said, I had to take me a nap. Um, but yeah, nothing much, still the same outside. <sighs> so how's y'all day going? Huh? How's your day? Um, yeah, I'm gonna just lay here and, and again, I can't do too, too much, um, phone stuff because I don't want my phone to die. So, yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. So, it's, what is it, almost 7 o'clock? We're heading out because it's extremely hot and we don't even know when the power's coming back on. So, we're gonna go to a hotel that's about, 
it was about 45 minutes, 45 minutes away. So, and they have an indoor pool so the kids can get some energy out. So, trying to pack everybody before it gets super dark. Um, I will be back once. I guess once we get in the car and get rolling. All right. So guys, hold on. Shh. So we made it to the hotel. And this is what they're doing. I felt like we had to sneak past because you know it was like a five person limit, but it's seven of us. So But yeah, the kids are happy. Unfortunately we missed. They have Okay, hold on. I'll show them. Unfortunately, okay, hold on. We missed the pool. It closed before we got here. It closed right when we got here. It's nine o'clock now. The pool closed at nine. So I'm gonna see if we can make it in the morning. There is a free breakfast. So everybody's happy. Let me show you the kids. <laughs> Oh my God. They have these lights. These kids are easily impressed and I love it. <laughs> so, guys, what are we going to do for dinner? Look, Chad. Look how we live. Look how we live. May look. Look. Oh, look. Look how we live. Wow. This teenager. She's got her charger, so she's happy. Oh, we got a microwave. Good. A little refrigerator because I got to keep my insulin cold, so that's perfect. Oh, okay, now somebody's going to the bathroom. But yeah, Daddy, you got anything you want to say? No, just glad we all made it here safe. Safe and sound. So now we can chill a little bit, get some showers. We was out of hot water at home, so yeah, this is this is we're happy. AC, the AC. Everything. It's crazy. Let me show them my beautiful Steph, face. You, oh, she went. <laughs> Steph, did you take for granted, you know? So we will talk to y'all later. We gotta get something to eat. I'm hungry. back still at the hotel we're about to check out we just I, I probably inserted a quick clip of us at the um at the little concert the little breakfast they have and of course my twins did not disappoint they showed their hind parts um but we survived um everyone's sad because we're still not going to be able to make it to the pool because we got to check out by 11 and steve actually has to work today so we got to get back home. Thankfully, we're only about an hour away from home. So he can get home and get, you know, get back in the uh, mindset of, you know, work mindset. Because he's been off since, um, today is Friday. So he's been off about a week related to um, Labor Day and then the storm. So, yes. Uh-uh, leave it alone for right now. Um, we have one whiny child. Paige, you Okay. She, her throat is sore so all my praying warriors please pray that we make it to the gas station to get this girl some Motrin or Tylenol or something did the medicine work last night I'm no alright so I'll get you some because I gave them Benadryl last night I didn't know if it was allergies because I have a few stuffies um, so, but yeah but other than that we are good um, I feel like I need to put this disclaimer. I am in no way, shape, or form saying that we had it hard. Or it was uncomfortable, absolutely. Hold on for a second. Hold on. But yeah, I'm in no way, shape, or form do I believe that we had it even even close to how Bahamas felt it. So they are remaining in our prayers. And like I said, we were tore up. Yeah, Bahamas was tore up. And I'm definitely, um, like I said, I don't want to even give the idea that I think that we had it rough or anything because as I was telling the kids we had a hotel we could go to those people that were on I'm gonna probably mispronounce it Abaco A-B-A-C-O they they don't even have a hotel to go to you know so I'm not I'm not comparing in the slightest I'm grateful we didn't get hit too hard it was just a mild discomfort and we'll recover um so prayers for Bahamas and I'm probably gonna end it here because like I said we're not doing much more we just had it in the van and yeah i'll talk to y'all later